Well, quick bonus video this week. Mick Jenkins. Had a couple of people message me about Mick Jenkins. Hey, Bob, you should check this out. Pretty cool. I was like, oh, okay. Not a lot of description. You know, a little bit here and there, but uh, I don't know anything about the guy. And then last week, I was on uh, Twitter briefly and accidentally saw that Jid had tweeted out, man, nobody's really rapping quite like Mick Jenkins. Now, you know, Jid's a feature on this album, and so you could take it as promotional maybe but you know i like jid a lot i, I really like jid i want to see where that guy goes man i think he's got a huge potential even from where he is now to where he could be i was like huh you know if jid's paying attention to this guy he's got a feature on there freddie gibbs is on here benny the butcher is on here like there's some names it's like okay so curiosity has captured not the cat, but the pop pop, I suppose. <laughs> and I meant to do this last week. This is when it released. It was about a week ago, uh, August eighteenth. And I got a little sidetracked, and I, you know, I was kind of focusing last weekend on just sitting down and relaxing and not really you know, overloading myself. But this week, I was like, you know, I wanna, I wanna jump on this. Eleven songs, twenty eight minutes, quick little ride, and um, yeah. So there we go. Not much for opening thoughts because I'm walking in 100% blind. No one's talked about this guy to me up until about a week ago. Uh, I read a quick little snippet off of Wikipedia right now. He was born in Alabama, I, I believe. I think I may have already forgotten that detail. His parents got divorced when he was around nine, moved to Chicago with his mom, and then, you know, ever since then, I suppose, he's been in Chicago. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so walking in blind. To, I mean, he's, I don't want to say he's unknown. I don't like saying that. When you got 2 million monthly listeners, you're not unknown. But he's certainly not mainstream either, right? Anyway, let's drop it. Let's check out McJenkins. The album is called The Patience. I've got stuff in my eye. I, I kind of, kind of just woke up about an hour ago. <laughs> so I'm a little, I'm a little uh, blurry eyed still. It takes me a while to get going in the morning. <clears throat> Track one's called Michelin Star. It's produced by Berg. I'm going to pronounce this as Vincent. Vincent in Tyron. Mm, not the guy from the UK. <laughs> Slow tie. That album, Ugly, was really good. And then he was charged with two counts of rape, I believe. And then that album became a little difficult to listen to because of what's being said in the album. And you go, oh. <clears throat> It seems like it might be more than just a song. Anyway, track one, Michelin Star. First time hearing Mick Jenkins ever. Off of his new album, The Patience. Let's drop in. Here we go. Cool. Hey, speakers knock, but I didn't get it by my lonely lighters up. I gotta burn one for the homies that forever stay. Huh. Now, since the only island that we seen was stony water, murky, that shit felt more like the Everglades. High rises built just like Section 8, you trapped up there. Purging all this food shit. Know that you can smell it, huh. you step in here. Bagging up the echinacea. What's the tea on me? He too low key, I'm selling lemonade. I stay out the way, it's niggas in the way, so they not in the way. It would feel away if I mention names. This shit is strange. These niggas facts be opinion based, but not in your face. Shit, this shapes when they in your space. I'm a square reader, a small circle, and we ain't adding a hair neither. We we all tortoise came out of my shell. Niggas not here for the fair weather. Ain't nothing no spell. I know you smell what a nigga cooking. I'm hungry as hell. And these niggas gon' bear witness of Michelin stars. Could see it this far. Back when a nigga was line cooking, I'm sous chef in these days. Proof reading these plates with a fine two cone. Won't find a line crooked. Still captain lines. Now I'm hooking big fish out these ways. Ha. Still remember when it was minimum wage. Yeah. Cool. Remember niggas would do they parts, no complaints That I already get contaminated and hearts full of shade Tend not to harp on the hate Hey, speakers knock, but I didn't get it by my lonely lighters up I gotta burn one for the homies that forever stay down ah. Cool Cool This is Nate This is really Nate I 
like that. Trippy. One thing I was told is he's got cool kind of wordplay going on. Let's go through this a bit. Go through this just a bit. Speaker's knock, but I didn't get in by my lonely. Gotta burn one for the homies that forever stayed down since the island. The only island that we've seen was Stony. Not a lot of annotations here, which is fun. I can kind of play around with my own thought process and get it wildly wrong, right? <laughs> High rise is built just like Section 8. You're trapped up there. Purging all this fool shit. No, you can smell the sage. You step in here. I liked his flow. Like his flow was almost, almost, it was going, it's almost like unstructured in its structure. You know, he was just kind of like, da -la, da -la, da -la, da -la, da -la. Da -la, da -la, da -la, da -la, da -la, da It's almost like uh, machine gun fire. Something like that. Back it up. I don't know what this is. What's the T on me? He's too low key. I'm still eliminated. I stay out the way. It's people in the way. Sway, they not in the way. The people that. So I think what he's saying here, it's people that are in the way that swear they're not in the way, but yet you are in the way. You're in the way. It would feel a way if I mention names. This shit is strange. So if you call them out for it, for being in the way, they get all upset. This part. It's people's facts be opinion-based. Hmm. But not in your face. Great line. Opinion-based facts. See a lot of that lately, don't we? Shifting shapes when they're in their space. I'm a square reader. A small circle and we ain't out of the air neither. We all tortoise came out of our shell. People not here for the fair weather. And under no smell, under no spell, I know you smell what I'm cooking. I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> That's good. They're going to bear witness so Michelin star could see it this far. Reference to the TV show The Bear? Were they aiming to get a Michelin star with the new restaurant concept? Oh. Oh, is that like a restaurant rating? Show is based in Chicago, where Mick is from. <laughs> oh, this is a negative one on the on the annotation review. Ooh, hmm. Back when a person was lying crooked, I'm sous chef in these days. Okay, so he's talking about moving up there. Sure, proofreading these plates with a fine tooth comb won't find a crooked line. That's got to be like contracts, maybe like reading through contracts. What he's gonna eat from his plate, you know? Here's going through this with a fine tooth. Still casting lines, now I'm hooking big fish out these waves. Still remember when it was minimum wage. Went through their parts, no complaints. Now the art gets contaminated, hearts full of shade. Tend not to harp on the hate. Huh. Cool. Well, track one gets a heart. Cool. I'm very curious. Okay, so track two's got Freddie Gibbs featured and produced by Berg and Vincent. Let's drop in. Show and tell is track two. Let's drop in. Oh. Oh. Cool. Cool sound of the production here. I like how the bass is kind of distorted. Wasn't even trying to outgrow niggas. Sometimes you just outgrow niggas. Huh? One degree of separation these days. No hesitation, I just be a bit more patient these days. Niggas think we racing, Grand Theft Auto, five star chase, ain't shit wasted, but time. Throwing tomatoes, can't catch up, nigga, I came from behind. Nigga, I made up my mind. Can't give a fuck by the list, which end we burning it at. Loading up magazines like where the real journalists at. Uh -huh. is quickly turning to trash, we flipping the page. Plenty sage, money age, like grapes, nigga, we getting fermented bags. Tell them I stay on my grind like I had permanent fronts. Same day kill multiple games. Hey, hey, you turn them in stunts. Ha ha. Been low key as fuck. Whole fools in the hood just started opening up. Copious smoke coming out. Blunt is the dope rolling up. Sugar coast just a faux pas. I know the truth won't give a fuck. I'm going to have to show these niggas. Ha. I can't tell them shit. <laughs> like you nice hit on the chorus too. I'm gonna have to show these niggas. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to show these niggas. I'm gonna have to. I like this violin that's floating around in the background. You don't have to show me, nigga. Can't just tell me shit. Too much talking, nigga. You sounding like you selling shit. You gonna have to show me. Let me go through Freddie Gibbs first, and then we'll uh, chat some lyrics. You gonna have to. I'm gonna have to show these niggas. I can't tell them shit. Bought a semi truck, fuck a penny, y'all was sick of Miller shit. Sell a shit, 
shit. Vice Lord, all with the shit. Every bitch a nigga fuck wanna have my baby. I can go sell a bit. A nigga fuck that cause I free coats by the bundle. One a couple lovers got a couple Cali bitches like my belly bitches in my blood bitch. Nice. Yeah, nice. Rap, but I ain't in the rap game cause the rap shit'll take you under. Put you in the dirt and then they throw the flowers on you when you're dead. Laying in the gutter, gotta bring it back, baby. Nice. Some Drops out. Bitches do their best to try to tear me down. Living legend status where I'm at, baby. Against the island, put it on the map, baby. Fin ball streets of the joint. Big rabbit eye bounce on the bitch. City boys up a hundred points, nigga. What? Yeah. Nice. Old, one of these days, one of these old gonna break your trust. Yeah. Living ain't never they turn in the trap again. Real nigga getting locked up. Yeah. Front of my nigga, her package. I know that my package might get fucked up. Yeah. Helping these nigga one of these days, one of these niggas gonna break your trust. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Legit. This is this is a great track. I love that fucking violin. And then the 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 this this whole track kind of feels like haunting. Just a little bit of like haunting, like lingering. Something's lingering in the darkness. And that that bass, that distorted bass hit, feels like this like fucked up heartbeat a little bit. Just unsettling, you know, unsettling, unhappy. One degree of separation these days. No hesitation. I'd be a bit more patient these days. People think we're racing. Grand Theft Auto Five Star Chase ain't shit, but wasted time. Throwing tomatoes can't catch up. I came from behind. I made up my mind. Can't give a fuck about a list. Which end we burn it at? Loading up magazines like where are the real journalists at? Some good expressions of just. I don't even want to say frustration, but like. The whole, <laughs> the whole structure of music and how it's, how it's treated is just like rotten, you know? That's what I'm getting from this. Just fuck all this shit. It's all broken backwards. Opinions quickly turn into trash. We flip on the page. Penny saved. Money age like grapes. We get fermented bags. Tell them I stay on my grind like I had permanent fronts. Say they kill multiple games. Hey, you turn into stunts. Turn me up, look as fuck. Whole food in the hood just started opening up copious amounts of smoke coming out. Copious. Blind as the dope rolling up. Sugar coach, just a faux pas. No, the truth won't give a fuck. Interesting. Show them. Can't tell them shit. Too much talking and you sound like you selling shit. Yeah. Hmm. It was fucking wild. And then Freddie. It's been a while since I listened to Freddie. I need to do another Freddie Gibbs album don't i you just sit down with more freddy i liked his flow tearing through here bought a semi truck fuck a bentley i was sick of mailing shit selling shit vice lord all willing shit huh got a couple cali like this part right here man i freak hose my bundle undercutter level got a couple cali bitches like my family bitches and my blood bitches but i'll tell you yeah and i was whipping through there that was cool put you in the dirt and then they throw <laughs> Course is rap, but I ain't in the rap game because this rap shit will take you under, put you in the dirt, and then they throw the flowers on you when you're dead, laying in the gutter. Gotta bring it back. I'll be forgetting some all crack, baby. <laughs> but just do their best to try to tear me down. Living legend status for Matt Baby Kings. I put it on the map, baby. Ha. Huh. Let's keep going. Let's finish this one up. This is this is legit. I really like a good pairing between the the sound of the production and just the way these words are being expressed. Let's finish this. Let's see what uh, Mix got to say. Verse three. That little violin is fantastic. <laughs> you gonna have to pardon my fascination with niggas' exaggerations. There's definitely no lack of imagination. And at the same time, so much to be desired. They spend so much to be desired. Need new noise. We them Hebrew boys that walk straight in that fire. Umpire says safe. Waited, I'm sliding, he lying, I can't be. Waited, I write it, I gotta be playwright. Waited, they fold and they gotta be laundry day, right? Ha <laughs> ha. It's always weird when actors get stage fright. I'm burning this sage like Kyrie on game night. You know niggas don't do what they say, right? Ha. <laughs> I love the, I don't know if it's like distortion or reverb or whatever it is, it's in the bass. It's not a clean bass. It's dirty. Great. 
great closing section too. Kind of linger with this feeling. That was good. That was really good. I like that one a lot. Show and tell I like a lot. That's the longest track off the album too by far. Four, 420 <laughs> is the runtime on that one. The rest are like a couple minutes a piece. You have to pardon my fascination with people's exaggerations. It's definitely no lack of imagination. At the same time, so much to be desired. Desired. They spend. They spend so much to be desired. I I really like that line. There was something I was watching recently. What the hell was it? Oh, I think it may have been yesterday when I was doing Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday album and. Uh, for Patreon exclusives, I do the music videos as well. So I'll do the album reaction like you guys see right now. I don't think there's any video. I never looked. But then I'll, for the Patreon version, I sit down with a lot of the music videos too. And there was one, I think it was Moment for Life. <clears throat> that's her and Drake. And they're in the, like this massive house. And, all, and it's like, fuck, man, that's so much money. Spending so much money. And for what? You know? And it, there are so many times, not just hip hop. It's just so many times when I see the rich and famous or whatever the fuck they're doing, what they're spending their money on. It's like, God, you know what I could do with that? These people that spend $34,000 one night in the club, what I could do with 34 grand? <laughs> like, holy, and that's, a, that's just me. Like there are people out there who need, 30, like that would be life-changing money for people, 34,000. Anyway, I love that line. They spend so much to be desired. Need new noise. We them Hebrew boys that walk straight in that fire. Umpire says safe. Way that I'm sliding, he's lying. I can't be. I can't be safe. The way that I write, I gotta be a player. Interesting. I can't be. Can't be safe. Huh. The way that they're folding, it's gotta be laundry day. Great line right there, too. All right, let's move on to track there. This is a cool project. I'm glad I sat down with it. Track three is called Sitting Ducks. It's featuring Benny the Butcher, uh, produced by Yamo Sato, Amanse, J. Nate, and Lotus. I don't know. Sounded fancy, though, the way I'm pronouncing it. Track three Sitting Ducks. Kind of eerie production. I like it. You know, it's just kind of. Neat beats, but there's a layer, layer of being just unsettled. Not. Hey, ain't no stopping me. I'm above camp. We apostrophes. Seen on size and all I see are sosceles. Pyramid schemes and the atrocities they cause and ain't no pausing. Ain't enough gauze in the holes in your logic. The optics work like an ox telling everything's gravy. You crazy. Roll up the flower. These niggas keep pushing up daisies. Pour out some cognac. I'm holding the bottleneck. Lazy boiling back in my seat. Black on my teeth. Activated charcoal poison back in the streets. Acclimated hardly just charged up. Batteries is aggravated. Tell them they can't spar with us. I seen the end. They don't want to start with us. It'll cost them an arm and a leg. The other leg, the other arm in his head. Marjorie message. Don't gotta be butter just as long as it spreads. Uh -huh. Ducks, they in the shallow water following bread. The fuck? I'm across the pine. Jay walking the Autobahn. I'm in the motherland. Trying to connect with my other fam, brother man. I don't know no fake niggas. We don't bury truth. I don't know grave diggers. No chains, ain't no slaves with us. What you coming? No come propane, come. keep that flame what with you us. Come. Yeah. This big clip butch ain't no bargaining with the family. My whole send each other news like Ari and Young Miami. I was rummaging through trash. Now I'm running through this cash. It got me peaceful. I be humming tunes while I thumbing through a half. Mm. A snitch don't deserve to be safe. Don't say a word, just make him pull that boy mine like a paternity case. I spent two bricks on this rolly, woke up and went jewelry shopping. And the house claustrophobic surrounded by Louis boxes that jumped off the porch but not me I'm a scuba diver so if I still can't get my respect I'm a shoot it out here the corner room at Noble knows the best reservations associates over friends cause it'll be less expectations the fuck y'all niggas huh. doing if y'all ain't stacking that up cause by the time my album drop I gonna be rapping that up me I'm connected around the map like I'm Trump I'm in red stage trapping with a satellite on the Cadillac truck and still feeling like a villain behind glasses <laughs> chilling sipping villain and Tenora y'all wine glass I win again. Turn the plug, I need options. I'm picky picky with the dope and my bitches. I ain't going 50 50 with no hope. Ha. Huh. Just quick and clean. Let's talk about lyrics. Let's go through some lyrics. Fucking neat shit, man. That one gets a heart, too. 
Ain't no stopping me. I'm above can't. We apostrophe is just like the apostrophe on the word can't, right? Cool little wordplay right there. And it's neat because you can like visually see it. You guys can't see my uh, cursor on the screen, but there's can't and the apostrophe is above, right? That's fun. Seen on all sides and all I see isosceles, which is a type of triangle, pyramid schemes and the atrocity they're causing ain't no pausing. Cool fucking wordplay there. Ain't enough gauze in the holes in your logic. So like when you go to the dentist, you get your tooth pulled, you get your hole in your mouth, right? You fucking shove some gauze in there. The optics works like an ox trail and everything's gravy. You crazy. Roll up the flower. These people keep pushing up daisies. Pour out some cognac. I'm holding the bottleneck lazy. Boiling back in my seat. Black on my teeth. I don't know what that means. Activated charcoal poison back in the streets. Hmm. Activated charcoal. You use that to like filter shit out, right? Activated charcoal poison. Huh. Activated Harley just charged up. Batteries is aggravated. Tell them they can't spar with us. So he's he's not acclimated. He's charged up, and the battery is aggravated. <laughs> I see the end. They don't want to start with us. It'll cost them an arm and a leg, the other leg, the other arm, and his head. Margarine message. Don't gotta be butter. Just as long as it spreads. I like that part too. They in the shallow water, following bread the fuck up across the pond, jaywalking an autobahn. I don't know no fake people. We don't bury truth. I don't know grave diggers. Ha! Huh. No chains. Ain't no slaves with us. No propane. Keep that flame with us. Hmm. And then Benny. Benny had an interesting verse, but I think there's a lot of shit I don't get. There was so there's a couple great lines I wanna I do wanna hit on though. Associates over friends, cause it be less expectations. Ha! Huh. Fuck y'all people if you ain't stacking that up because by the time my album drop, I'm going to be wrapping that up. I'm connected around the map like I'm Trump. I'm in red states trapping with a satellite on the Cadillac trunk. <laughs> and still feeling like a villain buying glasses. Chilling, sipping whatever out of wine glasses. I went again. Hmm. What, what, what was there? Some other, you know, my hosts sent each other nudes like Ari and like Miami. I don't know who those people are. I was rummaging through trash. I'm running through this cash. Got me peaceful. I'd be humming tunes while thumbing through half. <laughs> you a snitch. You don't deserve to be safe. Just say a word. Just make him prove that a boy might. Just make him prove that boy mine like a paternity case. That was a good one, too. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're three for three. Let's jump into Smoke Breakdance. Featuring Jid, produced by Stoic. Why does Stoic sound familiar to me? Track four, Smoke Break Dance. Uh, 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 he cracks off those uhs really well. <laughs> and I keep rolling up. And I keep rolling up. We blow it down, we blowing up. Hot air in me, we going up. Still is. No feet going up, fees going up, we pulling up, we throwing up gang signs. Trees going up and flames find us a forest fire every smoke break. <laughs> Opened up, we space, nigga, we gave our hang time. We trying to reclaim time. We finna rebuild, no home depot with us, people with us. That come from the FaceTime. Low key like the baseline, got smoke and I Low key like the up. baseline. Which it is kind of a low key baseline. Yeah, isn't it? I keep rolling up. Keep getting high, beats getting low, we getting by. I can't complain. I wouldn't know how to make you feel me. I know they can smell me though. I know they can see a motherfucker coming from a mile away. I ain't sending smoke signals, big smoke send signals. Either way, don't it put an eighth in it. Motherfucker got some weight on it and some wax in it. Don't play with it. All the way from concentrate with it. Juice like fresh OJ is the tangy that I stay with. Soon as they hit it, I keep rolling up. We blow it down, we blowing up. Hot air in me, we going up. Still is no feet going up, fees going up. We pulling up, we throwing up gang signs. Cool production. Rolling up. Cool production. And I keep rolling up. Here comes Jed. Excited to hear this. 
I rolled this one for the road, two for the show, three for the dough, three forty-five. Got a fifty piece from the wing spot. Kiki kicked out my mind, <laughs> and I'm coming back with food and some ganja. But it's only me and you, and it's just a little bitty piece of weed to make a nigga feel like he ain't going off the deep end. I ain't even been asleep by the week. Didn't even think about it. We was at the bottom. I was got it by the beats, got it by the guns, got it by the streets where the money said he got it by the week to get it out. Got him by a leash. Try to find a huh. little piece, but the mystery to me is unsolved. Take a breather, hit a reefer, smoke cough through the blunt fog. Got a stash full of big gas. I can tell you where they run for, but I don't trap, so it won't matter. Everybody do a blunt toast like the white folks when they clink glasses. Told my nigga at the front toast, so I move slow, but I think faster. Twelve knocking at the front door, shh, be quiet, keep passing. I don't wanna see nobody that I know and love laying in a deep casket, but the wall is stressing madness. A nigga key running no. I love the way Jid sounds, man. He sounds so comfortable. It's so easy. Cool fucking jam. Good, good smoking jam. Good smoking jam for sure. <laughs> that one gets a heart. The way I, I love, I, I love everything about Jid. I love the comfort that he has when he's fucking rapping so well and it sounds so easy i love his voice I love his change up there's a little bit of playfulness in there it's just fucking easy for the guy he sounds great smoke break dance <clears throat> trees going up in flames find us a forest fire every time we smoke break <laughs> oh that's good low key like the bass line Got smoke, I keep rolling up, keep rolling up, keep getting high, beats getting low, we getting by, I can't complain. I wouldn't know how to make, I wouldn't know how to make you feel me. I know they can smell me though. <laughs> I know they can see a motherfucker coming from a mile away. I ain't sending smoke signals, big smoke send signals either way, don't it? Which kind of goes back into the idea of a forest fire. You know, you don't have to send a smoke signal to let people know a forest fire is coming. It's coming. Big smoke is coming. Put an eighth in it. What the fuck? Got some weight on it and some wax in it to play with. This is annotated, but I do like the don't play with it all the way from concentrate with it. Just like juice, like fresh OJ. It's the tangy that I stay with. Weed blowing down, weed blowing up. I roll, I roll this one for the road. Two for the show, three for the dough, 345. Got a 50 piece from the, sw the wing spot. Geek, geek, geeked out of my mind. <laughs> the way he did that part was great, right? Coming back with some food and some ganja. It's only me and you on this ride, in this ride. A little bit of eat a piece of weed make people feel. Just a little bitty piece of weed. I'll make a person feel like he ain't going off the deep end. Huh. I wish I could smoke. <laughs> I'm starting to... I'm starting to stress out a little bit in general. Lots of, lots of, it's been lots of little things that are starting to pile up. And most, I mean, it's all non-channel related, honestly. It's stuff at work that's happening. It's all this bullshit that's starting to happen with politics again. You know, people are starting to whisper about COVID again. It's like still... Still lots of fucking overpriced groceries and overpriced housing. I mean, there's just a lot of things that have been sitting on my brain lately. I wish I could smoke a little. That'd be nice. We was at the bottom. I was guided by the beats, guided by the guns, guided by the streets. Where the money? Says he's got about a week to get it. Got him by a leash. <laughs> You've got a week. Got a stash full of big gas. I can tell you what they run for, but I don't trap, so it won't matter. Everybody do a blunt toast. Like the white folks when they clink glasses. <laughs> so I move slow, but I think fast to 12 knocking at the door. Psh, be quiet. Keep passing. <laughs> Good jam. Cool song. Very cool. All right. Track five is called 007, produced by Berg and Vincent. Let's jump in. Track five. Interesting fucking album so far. This has been great. Quick little songs. Fun little rides. Neat production. Niggas stepping on their own feet, they not bow legged. Toy stories, we've been toe tagging. Must have seen we got the dough stacking. Two sports, nigga, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Uh, two sports, I'm on prime time. Green grass, if I wanna die, nigga, I'm having what the goats having. Not told me I got bow habits. Got 
shots if we talking wave making. We've been wakeboarding, niggas still sleeping. I don't rock it, I'm in X Games mode. Y'all niggas sound like squid speaking. Money hungry, see them squid gaming. Penny pinching, nigga been scheming. Money penny, I got bonds working. Told them this ain't no time to die. Niggas from round the way. I love the bass. From round the way. Oh. I was down the ride. We fucked around and found a way out. This ain't no time to die. Niggas from round the way. Saxophone in there. My was down the ride. We fucked around and found a way out. Yeah. We fucked around and found a way. We fucked around and found out. Only looking where the truth at. Cool fucking sound. Follow me, man. I got moose tracks. The right two cents is worth two racks. I talk that old jazz. I lie, day brew back. Push keys so dope, made you sweat. C note so sweet, under flames made brulette. Who let the dogs out? Watch niggas get maimed. Two death, who left? We finna go all out. You the raw gave new breath with pump action, dodge the hate with the same two step. Uh, uh, this ain't no time to die. Niggas from round the way, bitches from round the way. My people's down the ride, we fucked around and found a way out. This ain't no time to die. Niggas from round the way, my people's down the ride, we fucked around and found a way out. We fucked around and found a way. I love that thick bass, but a ball. Fucking cool. This has been quite the treat so far. That gets a heart too. Yeah, you know, I was, you know, 007 and then the chorus, this ain't no time to die, no time to die being the name of a 007 movie. I'm not a huge 007 fan. I don't really watch those movies, but that's one of the more recent ones, I believe. Oh. Fucked around and found out. Only looking where the truth at. Follow me, I got moose track. Oh, that's the second verse. Sorry, I'm fucking up. This ain't no time to die. People from around the way, bitches from around the way. My people's down to ride. We fucked around and found a way out. This ain't no time to die. They're stepping on their own feet, not bowlegged. Two stories with toe tagging. Okay, reference there. Monsters Eek. He's got the dough stacking. I don't get that one. Monsters Eek, Stank and Doe. I mean, I know the movie, but I don't know. Anyway, Two Sports, Bo Jackson, Two Sports, Primetime. Deion Sanders was Primetime. That was Neon Dion. Greengrass, If I Want to Dine. I'm having what the goat's having. Knots on me. I got boat habits. Docs, if we're talking wave making. We've been wakeboarding. People still sleeping. Huh. The right two cents is worth two racks. I talk that old jazz a la Dave Brubeck. I don't know who Dave Brubeck is. California jazz artist. Okay. Push keys so dope that made you sweat. C notes so sweet under flames made brulee. Brulee is creme brulee, right? They use the little torch to, uh, I think it's to, to melt the sugar and it makes like a, a, gla a, like a glassy glaze type. Who let the dogs out? Watch people get maimed to death. Who's left for friends to find out? Ha. Huh. Cool little jam. Cool little jam. I've enjoyed all these so far. Track six is called 2004, produced by T. Watt. Let's drop in. Track six. Quick quick little rides hey, from here I'm on out. I'm low key as fuck what you want, nigga. I've been with the same motherfucker since 04, nigga. They know I ain't changed that much. It's just growth, nigga. Huh. We at 91st, then we don't know, niggas. You wasn't at 46, we don't know, niggas. Shout out Solar 5, he don't gotta pick a side. Hey, GD's vice for stones in the room and his vibes. What a time to be alive. Hey, seen him pulling masks up before fucking fires. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Cool little what? coming back into the production there. If you wasn't at ninety first, we don't know niggas. If you wasn't at four six, we don't know niggas. Huh. Quick one. Minute twenty-five. Huh. 
What's a little turbulence? We came up off of potholes. That's a great line. That's a great line. There's a lot being said right there. What's a little turbulence? Came up off of potholes, man. You know, sometimes it's life is like that, right? Like you're you're struggling, you're struggling, you finally start making it, doing better, getting easier, a little bit more money, you know, you can go do and all of a sudden you're hit with some problems. All oh, it's like, and it's like, hold up. Five years ago, we were making half as much money. Five years ago, we were living in this shit. You know, and it's funny how relativity will kind of come into life and what used to be the dream is now the struggle, <laughs> right? Like, oh man, I got to go to work today when before it was like, man, I got to get a job, <laughs> you know? Play in space, but I keep a poker face. What was the, the thing about the mask? What a time to be alive. I don't know the, these references. GDs, Vice Lords, Stones in the Room, and it's Vibes. Okay. What a time to be alive. Seen him pulling masks up before a fucking virus. It's funny. He says, been with the same motherfuckers since 04. And to me, I'm like, oh, that's not that long. Oh, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, okay. I did on the Wikipedia, I guess he's, uh, Mick Jenkins is 32. So, you know, it's almost 20 years. So since he's been, you know, 11, 12 years old, they've been with these guys. That's cool. That's a long time. That's a long time. Cool. Jam. I'm not giving that one a heart. Cool jam. But I like that one. But I'm not giving it a heart. Figure that one out. Figure that out. <laughs> Track seven is called Roy G. Biv. No idea. Produced by Venna and Beat Butcher. Drop it in. Roy G. Biv. Check seven. Funky production, man. I like this funky production. Strange. The beats are there, but they're fucked with. Was this freckle face nigga mug used to call red? Roll tie so had Auburn in his head. Light brown skin, a family trade he didn't share. Used to try to make niggas use his real name instead. Color theory. Uh. Huh. Color theory. It's a whole lot of green, all kind of green in this bitch. I understand why it infatuate. You can be in limelights too. All you gotta do is exaggerate. Smoking on something chartreuse. I guess a nigga tend to oversaturate with this hue. See blue faces and jaded eyes and olive branches and blatant lies. You could get this too. Color theory. Color theory, and this is all color references. What kind of palette you mixed up in? What perspective did your shit up in? What? Then black lights come out and we see that we all stay. And pink slips come out and you can't have enough drive. They've been pulling yellow cards on the squad all game. We just trying to kick it. Channel Orange got enough vibes. Can I be frank? Silver and blonde. Need these ebony flows out the white gaze and beyond. Ain't no more gray area though. That ain't the shade that we on. Cool. Color theory. Let's get to heart. This is fucking neat. Fun wordplay. This is well written. Funky fucking beat too. I like it. It's just got this like wah, wah, wah. neat shit. Very different. It kind of feels like it. it makes me think of Radiohead a little bit. Just a little bit. Not so much in what it sounds like, but in what they're doing. That reminds me of Radiohead. The way they're just kind of screwing around with their own sound. So it's all color theory, right? Was with this uh, this freckle face person mug used to call red. Roll tide soul had auburn hair. This has got to be a roll tide. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> I don't know much about sports, but roll tide is uh, auburn, the college team. Light brown skin, a family trait he didn't share. He used to try to make people use his real name instead. It's a whole. This part was really fun. It's a whole lot of green. All kind of green in this bitch. I understand why. I understand why it infatuate. You could be in limelights too. Lime is a shade of green, right? Type of green. But limelight is also on stage, in the spotlight type thing. All you got to do is exaggerate. Smoking on something chartreuse. I don't know what color chartreuse is. I guess people tend to oversaturate this hue. So if you oversaturate, right, the colors wash out and bleed out. 
see blue faces and jaded eyes and olive branches and blatant lies. You can get this too. And you know, this just makes me kind of think back to the other line. You could be in the limelights too, infatuated with green, infatuated with money, but here's all the blatant lies and all this shit. What brush stroke did you get stuck in? What kind of palette are you mixed up in? What perspective did your shit upend? And I feel like, you know, this brush stroke and palette stuck in, mixed up in, I wonder if that's, you know, kind of as you're chasing your infatuation with green, trying to be in the limelight, where you end up in that pursuit. Then black lights come out and we see that we're all stained, right? Black lights, we know those how, how those work. Pink slips come out and you can't have enough drive, so you get fired. You're down, you're beat. They've been pulling yellow cards on the squad the whole game. Like the game is rigged. You keep getting penalized for bullshit calls. We're just trying to kick it. Channel Orange, Frank Ocean, right? You know, got enough. Can I be frank? Fuck the silver and blonde. Like these ebony flows out the white gaze and beyond. No more gray area, though. That ain't the sh shade around. I, I hope this is not a, a, a knock against Little Sims, because Little Sims is great. But we'll see. Whatever. I, there's, there's no annotation. It seems like it's a knock against Little Sims a little bit. Ain't no more gray area, though. That ain't the shade we on. Cool jam. I like that one. That was neat. Man, it's just cool. I'm glad I sat down with this. I was hesitant this morning. I was like, do I? Do I not? I kind of told a couple people, yeah, I'm going to get to that one. And I was like, oh... You know, I like uh, if, I, if I tell people I'm going to do something, I try to hold that, you know, otherwise don't tell them you're going to do it, obviously. I meant to do it last weekend and I didn't get around to it and it's cool. I'm glad I'm sitting down. Track 8 is called Pasta, uh, produced by Berg and Vincent. Let's jump in, Track 8. All these are pretty quick songs. Actually, Track 9 is a little bit long. But basically, I'm just going to let them play through the whole way. I won't pause in the middle for the rest of this run. sound again. I'm loving the production on this. Huh. It's brilliant production. It's so, it just sets this mood. And then Mick on top of it is fucking hey. great. All I see is imposters. Niggas postures is al dente. Rarely kick it without a sensei. Just brick lay. We cut the cornerstone and scrape the excess mortar with a switchblade. Ain't no uh. pretty glass houses this way. Y'all got the drip thing. All this secondhand smoke. I pass. Perpetually bitch made. Watch it secondhand coast. No dap. Niggas can miss me with the Swiss cheese. Gotta fill in those gaps. Huh. Don't wanna see ceilings told. Niggas no cap. Don't want any feelings. I told the dentist no cap. No strap. <laughs> but he just as lethal. That's an eagle. Do the sands of time. No feathers feeble. I went the storms and did the Panama. I rarely speak them. The power palpable hands talk about it when you greet him. We move discreetly. It was seen. Wow. The niggas barely take steps. You just don't know. I'm way more low key. Meet me on the bass clap. I can't stress. You niggas pray about it. I'm the apex. Wow. Good power there in the voice. So niggas before. I do a web of lies like William Defoe. I love Gotta this look him in his eyes if you really wanna know. These niggas shape shift. They make scenes. They like to act. This shit don't make sense. Play rights. These motherfuckers is on stages. I'm on the 50. I got a Heisman trophy with me. Stiff arm in my dickies. Rubber boots. This shit get slippery. I'm in no Bottega. A noble savage. I don't want no betas in my circle. Omega Psi. I got a couple dogs that's purple. You never know who with me. She get thick on this side. All the grope in inside. I toss the roach and let the tits rise. I'm in my bitch ride. She put that shit like it's a big wheel. I'm good with this vibe. Fuck it, eh? God damn. That was amazing. I think that's my favorite one. That was amazing. I love the beat. Where? 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 And he's talking about how he ain't stressed, but he's fucking yelling. You know? Meet me on the back, on the base cliff. I can't stress. Oh, no, he's saying he isn't stressed. I can't stress. You people pray about it. But his voice. I loved how he was pushing up on his vocals and just yelling. Fucking, I love, <laughs> I love metal. I love the yelling. Just, ah, 
I love it. This is fucking great lines too, man. All I see is imposters. People's posture is al dente. I forget what al dente means. Al dente is a term used to describe pasta that has been cooked to the ideal consistency. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay. Rarely kick it without a sensei. Just brick lay would cut the corner stones and scrape the excess mortar with a switchblade. Huh. Ain't no pretty glass houses this way. Y'all got that thrift thing. All this secondhand smoke I pass. Perpetually bitch made. <laughs> Watch a secondhand coast. No doubt. You can miss me with the Swiss cheese. Got to fill in those gaps. Don't want to see ceilings. Told people no cap. Right? No cap. People say it all the time. No cap. They're being serious. But it's also a hat. that doesn't want to see those ceilings. Don't want any feelings. I told the dentist no cap. So tooth work. Right? He doesn't. He doesn't. Well, actually, fuck, I'm getting that wrong. A fill. A fill. Don't want any feelings. So it's feelings filling. Doesn't want a cap, wants a filling. His tooth ain't hurting, no feelings, dentist, all that kind of shit. No strap, but he's just as lethal. Desert eagle through the sands of time. No fe feathers feeble. That one's an interesting one. Desert eagle, a gun, no strap, but he's just as lethal. Then it kind of plays off of feathers. An eagle through the sands of time. So a, a, like a desert, an eagle in the desert, sands of time. That one's, that's a lot. There's a lot going on right there. I weathered storms and did the pantomime. I rarely speak them. So he's miming it out instead of saying the shit. Interesting. Interesting. Empowered, palpable hands. Talcum powder when you greet him. Remove discreetly. It would seem that people barely take steps. You just don't know. I'm way more low-key. Meet me at the base. I can't stress I don't understand the web of lies, William Defoe. It, is this like a? The only thing I know is Spider-Man, maybe. But I, I feel like there's probably a movie William Defoe has been in that's related to lies, web of lies. Maybe the move. Maybe that's the name of the movie, Web of Lies. I don't know. These people shape shift. They make scenes. They like to act. The shit don't make sense. Playwrights. These motherfuckers is on stages. I'm on the fifty. I got a Heisen Trophy <laughs> trophy with me. Stiff arm in my dickies. Rubber boots, the shit gets slippery. Huh. Don't want no betas in my circle. Omega Psi. I got a couple dogs that's purple. I don't get that. I don't know that. You never know who with me. Shit get thick on this side. All the growth been inside. I toss a roach and let the tins rise. <laughs> right? So he's flicking it out the window. Then rolling up the window. I'm in my bitch ride. <laughs> she whipped that shit like it's a big wheel. That's a great description. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if big wheels are still around. I had a big wheel when I was a kid. And it's the big front plastic tire and then the two like smaller like plastic slicks. And you could go, 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 go. And you crank the wheel and just fucking whoosh, right slide because it's plastic tires with no traction at all on concrete or whatever. So, that's a great picture. I can really, I can really connect with this. She whipped that shit like it's a big wheel. <laughs> So, whoever he's with, his girl, she can drive. That's fun. I like that. Pasta. Pasta just might be my favorite. I thought show and tell thus far was going to be my favorite. Smoke Break Dance with Jid is obviously great too. But I really like show and tell. But pasta, the production, the fucking sound on that one was fantastic. All right. All right. Track nine is called Farm to Table. Featuring Vic, Vic Mensa, produced by Berg, Dillip, and OT Hello. I, I don't know. I don't know. Track nine, Farm to Table. Here we go. Cool fucking ride. What a cool ride. Got that fucking like stand up bass going again. Hey, bad bitch on my arm, and she's no bitch. Smoke straight from the farm, I'm on my gross shit. I love the hey, strings too. Beside all the sip, how much I pour ya? She in the Oscar de la Renta, I might have to de la Hoya. <laughs> Call my lawyer, don't even ask me. Nigga, I came fashionably late. Her style was Condé Nasty, that Pyrex with tight neck. 
swallow my breath. Hers was more of an architectural digest. I digress with our chest. We both get to speak in our minds. All kind of interior designs. Superior grapes from inferior vines. Switching time zones. These is curious times. It's loose noodles, no furious spoons. Fuck the waves if I could bury the moon. I mean, shit is getting very cartoon. I keep this bad bitch on my arm. And she's no bitch. <laughs> Smoke straight from the farm, I'm on my gross shit. No boat made our own ways. You had a cold, no newborn. Can't have nobody folding more coat hangers my way. No low hanging fruit here. I palm trees to the face, won't speak hate to my face. Y'all on some old shit. Oh, huh. Bad bitch on my arm, and she's no bitch. I smoke my own shit, man. What's it called? Smoke straight from the boys. farm, I'm on my gross oh, well, you shit. Ain't heard. Uh-huh. Here's Vic. This shit from front of the table had to run it up. I never harmed the an ankle and a distribution chain so major I could start a label. We didn't got the 93 boys hotter than Carl Gable. Sometimes I wish I could take a weekend off, but I'm hardly able. Louis Vuitton, Lee's arms, Pierre Mars out of reach of the DA's arms. A pair of fashion we far proceeding. You rappers even having seats. It's an I'm a walkable waffle that should a masterpiece. I'm fine arts masterpiece. Sidebar cash is king, my large bag of dreams. My daddy went Yankee, his son slanging gasoline. A million in the first three months, that's like two billion streams. We blowing up like Israel did the Philistines. Got a strip, mobbing through Bethlehem and them rocking ricks. They been owing us for the way they plundered the continent. Got the world buying plane tickets off of my Ghana trips. I been walking it, my nigga, now let me talk my shit. Bad bitch on my arm, and she's cool no bitch. Three from the farm, I smoke my own shit. Good shit, man. This is a great little album. Great fucking album. I've I've got hearts next to everything. I didn't put one next to 2004, and it kind of deserves a heart. I enjoyed it, but this this album is fantastic. There was a great line in here. Hold up, there was one way early in. Fuck the waves if I could bury the moon, I mean. So waves, tidal shifts are based off of the moon as it orbits the earth and that's gravitational pull. So if you got rid of the moon, the, the waves, the I mean, we'd still have waves, but the tide shifting would be gone. We'd have no more tides. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of lines in this one. I, I can't really, uh, pick apart because there's a lot of references that I don't I don't know like Pyrex I don't know what a Pyrex is you know I came fashionably late our style was you know I don't know what that is Conde, Conde Nost or whatever the fuck superior grapes from inferior vines switching time zones is curious times it's loose noodles no furious spoons I don't get that fuck the waves if I could bury the moon the only, so this loose noodles, furious spoons. The only thing I can think of is like somebody who uses a rubber band or like at that you know rubber hose tie off thing for like heroin. So if it's not tied off, you're not shooting up no fear. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just pulling shit out of my ass right now. <laughs> no boat made, no boat made our own waves. You hot or cold, no lukewarm. That's fucking kind of true, isn't it? it? It's sad. It shouldn't be that way, but that's kind of true you're either hot or you're cold i don't like i don't like the current state of music right now honestly i don't i don't like how it's it's hype 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 this one this one this one this one abandon it on to the next one i don't like that that's not how it should be in my opinion you're supposed to enjoy it sit with it soak in it learn it appreciate it but that's one thing that has become a bit of a challenge with this channel is week to week it's another album and I don't have the whole hype, 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 but I do feel like I'm consuming music rather than enjoying music. And that's been tough. That's been something I've been trying to kind of, that's a puzzle I've been trying to, to work on. And one of the reasons why it feels that way for me is because I have now reacted to so many albums. Like before, early on, I could go back. You know, if there's only 20, 30 albums, oh, okay, I'll go back and listen to this one again, listen to this one again, which is how I've always listened to music. And I, I think that's how you really learn 
the music that you're listening to. Uh, and that's how you know it folds into your life. You, you put it on and now memories are starting to be associated with it because you do go back and listen to this one. You got to listen to that one. But when every week it's a new one, it's a new one. And not just for me, but like the, the broader idea of this hype, 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 consume it, talk about it, talk about it, focus on it, and then gone. I don't, I don't like that. I just don't like that at all. It's weird. It's very weird. Like, I don't like the idea. I, I love music so much. The idea of it being commodified and treated like some sort of consumable resource or something. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not into that at all. Not going to go through the rest of the lyrics. There's, a, I, there's just a lot of shit I don't know. So that, that's okay. But cool song. I love the fucking production. I love the sound. Vic, Vic did a great job vocally. Liked his flow, even though he's saying all kinds of stuff I don't know, right? Uh, track 10 is called... The only thing I can think of is this is like a combination of Guam and Japanese. I suppose Guam is not that far from Japan. It's a tiny, tiny little island out in the Pacific Ocean, uh, further out than um, Hawaii is. So, and there's a Navy base out there. I've never been there. I've heard it's miserable. There's just fucking nothing to do in Guam. <laughs> so I'm going to call this Guampanese. Guampanese, I suppose. It's produced by Stoic and Culture. Track 10, dropping in. Love, I've just, the fucking production on this album is just brilliant. Love it. The whole way. Love it. Gotta let this bitch breathe. Uh. He cracks off those uhs really well. <laughs> they say money talks. These niggas let they money talk. Matter of fact. I don't think I ever heard him speak. He got a funny walk. Ha. Huh. They say money talk. Hey, all these niggas ever really talk about his money. I think all these niggas got to talk about his money. His man's locked up. He can't bond him out. It's funny. Huh. God forbid they chalk him out and find out it's no money. A stack of ones just like them and they hide behind the 20 come outside ain't nobody finna jump you gave us conclusions we didn't even have to jump to i know that could just stop but somebody else punked you <laughs> beef. you can't get this from no butcher shop all my cash cows grass fed you can smell it when i come through pull up in some old school shit it make the hooker stop <laughs> Talking, keep walking, baby. I know you know them same dollars. Keep talking. Only want the handicaps when we park and probably won't catch me snorkeling. Surface level shit put you in deep water. It's shit's crazy to see. Crazy. Motherfuckers sound crazy to me, but I guess we letting money talk. It sounds so much different than how niggas look. It feels so much different than how niggas walk. They say money talks. Ha. Love what they're doing with the piano through this. This whole, the production on this song is fucking brilliant. Yeah, that's a great one too. Every now and then I go through a song and I mean, I, you guys know I'm sitting here, I'm, it's a reaction. I'm listening to it for the first time. I think sometimes people kind of forget it's literally the first time I'm hearing it. I don't know, maybe not. I, I feel that way because sometimes when I watch other people listen to, you know, because I, I like watching reaction stuff. I don't watch it nearly as much as I used to, but I like watching it. And sometimes I forget that they're hearing it for the first time. And I get in my mind, how could you not get this? Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I listened to it the first time. Anyway, every now and then, I'll hear a song for the first time, like this one, and the lyrics are there. And it's, it's this interesting combination of they're saying all these things, and I get like the essence, but I can't take that essence and like condense it down into straightforward language 
to express how the song has made me feel. And it's, it's weird because I get this situation where I feel like I get it, but I can't explain why I get it. And this is one of those songs right here. Fucking cool. They say money talks. These people let their money talk. I don't think I've ever heard him speak. So you got you got this whole money talk thing, and you got this this thing about a funny walk, and which kind of ties into the idea you can you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? And so I feel like there's a play there happening with you know money talks, bullshit walks. Obviously, you got the talk the talk and the walk the walk. But then also, it, there's this emphasis on money and letting people mo- people letting money talk for them. You know, I'm the the impression I'm getting is I'm big and I'm famous and I'm successful because look at all the money I have. When I feel like Mick is going the other way, you know, it's like that's not what it's supposed to be about. It feels like there's a bit of an indictment on hip hop in general right here, and maybe I'm reaching too far on that one, but. With what I've heard on this album so far, especially the way he's rapping, what he's been saying, the production that they're using, the impression I get is Mick is very much concerned about creating art, not money. And money and the amount of money that you have is not an accurate representation of how good your art is. That's what I'm getting from this. All these people ever really talk about is money. All they talk about is money. Man's locked out, locked up, can't bond him out. That's funny. God forbid they talk about find out no money. It's a stack of ones just like him, and they hide behind the 20. I like that, right? It's a stack of ones. So you're showing up. Like, take this idea, right? Someone's waving. Oh, look at all this money I got. But it's just a bunch of ones, right? So it's not that much money. And they hide behind the 20, so I've got to look, it, it looks like it's all 20s, but it's not, right? It's a fake representation. Come outside, ain't nobody finna to jump you. Gave us conclusions we didn't even have to jump to. I know that Kutcher stopped, but somebody else punked you. So that was uh, what Ashley Kutcher, the, the show punked, right? Yeah. <laughs> Manufactured beef. You can't get this from no butcher shop. Manufactured beef. Now take that idea, you know, hip hop beef, diss tracks, all that shit. Because what what are diss tracks really do? Hype. This just happened recently with um what the hell was it? I don't I wasn't paying attention to it because I don't I honestly don't care. I don't care and I kind of find it boring these beefs and these diss tracks and all that. like to me it's beyond absurd that these multimillionaires that are world famous are sitting around writing songs about each other because apparently they don't have anything else better to do with their time. Like, I'd be swimming in my gigantic fucking pool, not worrying about what somebody else said, you know? But I've kind of noticed recently, it was something with like, there was some single that was, I think it was Drake and 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 people were saying, oh, Drake's trying to bait Pusha T. He's trying to get Pusha T to come out. He's trying to bait him. But what was it really doing? It was like its own fucking hype machine. It's almost like its own commercial, its own advertisement. Manufactured beef. And that's what it felt like. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't real, like people aren't pissed off at each other, but it just comes off that way. Like, you know, there are a lot of industry, or not not like industry, but, uh, you know, going viral is something corporations try to do. They try to manufacture an organic movement of going viral because it's free fucking advertising. That's all it is. Manufactured beef. You can't get this from no butcher shop. All my cash cows, grass fed. You can smell it when I come through. I like that. I feel like that line is him essentially saying, the the money I make is from real shit, not manufactured bullshit. Pull up in some old school shit and make the hooker stop. And I love how the production kind of paused. And he paused. Keep walking, baby. (laughs) I know you know them same dollars. Keep talking. Only want the handicaps when we're parking. Handicap parking. I don't get it, though. I I understand the handicap parking play, but you only want the handicaps when we're parking. I don't know. Anyway. Probably won't catch me snorkeling. Surface level shit put you in deep water. Surface level shit put you in deep water. It's crazy to see. Motherfuckers sound crazy to me. 
But I guess we're letting money talk. Brilliant song. Pasta was my favorite. Guapanese is my favorite. Show and, Do Show and Tell is my favorite. Smoke Break Dance is my favorite. <laughs> Mick Jenkins has put together his greatest hits in one 24-minute album. <laughs> 27, I'm sorry. 27 minutes. Final track is called Mop. Let's jump in and check it out. What a great ride this has been. Since a shorty mama was needing a dough. I've been breaking bread, grew up in the church, did the stained glass, fam. I've been breaking bad in the breeze on some windbreaker shit in these trees. Like I got a hidden drag and the balance is evident. Avatar never out of my element. If I can, I'm star trekking it too. I mean, let's be for real. Y'all can't glow with my Hugo. A clock light years with the hue blow. A nigga too far ahead, too slow coming off of the line. They talk drag, but it's a marathon. I thought he told you. I just keep mopping these flows. Interesting, man. Fuck it. I just keep it clean as I'm supposed. Fabric soft. Now these niggas is hoes. Fresh out the machine. The way I seen niggas fold. I do my paper the same. Landscaping on my grass look green. I ain't gonna say it's the same. But you know, shit ain't always what it seems. It's common French. I stay scheming. I ain't playing them games. Whole thing just a pyramid scheme. You never see, but keep hearing these things. About the dirt that we did. I just keep mopping these flows. I just keep mopping these yeah. floors. I just keep mopping. Flows. Who knows, the chemical shit got me exposed to Fertilizer, we was just trying to grow No pesticides, you gotta weed out your bros Uncircumcised, got extra wow. skin in the game I'm wow. more like me in the fold That's how I'm coming I hustle when a nigga didn't have That's how I'm bumming A cash cow with big calves That's how we run it Wherever we grazed If I spend it, it's a melon rebate I get it back, I need it ASAP ASAP Yeah I need a mop, I hit the water with some Ajax Wow Yeah I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm just now stepping into what I feel like is, is a full agency over my creativity, creativity my artistry, artistry my, my, business, my, uh, yeah. my business, um, and even myself as a man. And I think it just takes time to get there. You know, I don't think that that's something that anybody is gifted when they become, you know, a man or when they find out who they are, or when they step into an industry, you know, where they're expressing, you know, do the deepest parts of who they are. I think that's a, that's a journey that you're on. And, and you know, um, trying to rush that doesn't get you anywhere except where you don't want to be fast. You know? so, um, allowing that process to be be it. Um, allowing yourself to, to make mistakes and, and learn and grow from that. Understanding that it's all molding you to get to where you're going. Um, Again, I just, I recognize there's a lot of patience in that. So, <clears throat> trying to have more of that. Trying to have more of that. The patience. Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Brilliant. I love that he put in this little spoken word outro at the end here where he's just trying to talk about this. Trying to rush. That doesn't get you anywhere except where you don't want to be fast. Yeah. Allowing the process to be. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Yes. Allow yourself to make mistakes. I have found, as I have made mistakes, know what happens? Nothing. Nothing really happens. People laugh about it. Oh, I can't believe you reacted to the censored version of Astral World. <laughs> He ruined it. He ruined the reaction. Oh my God, Bob. I can't believe you just talk shit about if you're reading it, it's too late the whole time. You weren't open-minded. You didn't give him a chance. You, Bob, very true. Very accurate. Took my lumps on that one. But you know what has happened because of that? I mean, nothing. And Well, that's not true. Because in that mistake, I, I took the time to try and learn from what I did wrong. And honestly, in that situation, that mistake was actually a really good section of growth for me personally because it made me realize hey getting a little lazy getting a little mouthy i've got an opinion now and I, I feel like oh i can strut it a bit but in that i fell into my own trap of oh because i have an opinion i can start mouthing off but i accidentally closed my mind at what point is an opinion if it isn't from an open mind you know it's a waste of time 
let's go through these lyrics a bit and then I'm gonna I'm gonna closing thoughts man was needing the dough I've been breaking bread, grew up in the church. Yeah, sure, communion, did the stained glass fam. I've been breaking bad. I don't know anything about breaking bad. I've never watched it, so I don't know that reference, but I'm assuming it's to the show. And a breeze on some windbreaker shit. So he's breaking bread, he's breaking the wind. <laughs> and these trees, like I got a hidden dragon. The balance is evident. Avatar never out of my element. If I can, I'm Star Trek in two. I mean, let's be for real, y'all can't go right hue, go or clock light years without the hue blows. That's a watch, right? And it's like on the atomic clock or whatever. I'm assuming. I just keep mopping these floors. This is what I want to focus on. I just keep mopping these floors. Because what does that mean? What is somebody who just keeps mopping? I just keep working. Just keep working. And if you're mopping the floor, you're kind of a low-level worker, right? But you're still working. You're still getting paid. And you're still doing something. I don't know if that's what he's going for, okay? But that's what I'm thinking of. This is the marathon I know. I just keep it clean as I'm supposed, fabric softener. <laughs> These people are hoes, fresh out of the machine, the way I seen them fold. I do my paper the same, landscaping all the grass looks great, I gotta say it, but yeah. Just keep mopping, just keep mopping. Who knows, the chemical shit got me exposed to fertilizer we was just trying to grow. I love this section right here, no pesticides. You got to weed out your bros. Nobody, there is no mechanism in your life that is going to kill off the poisonous friends or whoever in your family, the, in, your, not in your family, in your life. The weeds are going to grow up. There's nothing that's going to do that. You got to do it yourself. Uncircumcised, got extra skin in the game. Good little line there. A million more like me in the fold. That's how I'm coming. I hustle when a person didn't have to. That's how I'm bumming a cash cow with big calves. That's how we run it. Because if you run a lot, you got big calves. Huh. Huh. That. Well, I love that. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm all tangled up. <clears throat> brilliant. I mean, it's just fucking brilliant. The production's brilliant. The rapping's great. The line's great. The word plays are great. The features are good. I mean, fucking A. 28 minutes of just solid gold right there. God damn. God damn. I'm glad I sat down with that one. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Not a lot of closing thoughts. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say other than it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That was great. I look forward to it. What's, what has me so excited about it, honestly, is... All of that happened in an album that runs 28 minutes. Like, that's kind of like lightning in a bottle type of thing for me. And I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say lightning in a boulder because that, that implies something else. You know, when you capture lightning, that's like, that's almost like an industry term for people who just blew up, right? Because they got that one thing and they did it just right. But for me, I think of other shorter albums that I love, like Alice in Chains, Jars of Flies is jar flies is one of my it's probably i don't know if it's my favorite album ever but it's definitely way 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 up there it's a short run but all the songs are great i love them love them and this one man this one i with the production the way it is and what he's kind of talking about and how he's expressing himself the flow that he's using some of the power that he puts out in his voice pasta fucking pasta was great good features god yeah Good shit. And then, too, the theme, how he closes it, the patience, trying to have patience. But, you know, what's really neat, too, It's talking about allowing yourself to make mistakes, trying to have patience, allowing yourself to grow. But when you listen to this, it does it sound easy? No, because it's not. It's so hard to have patience. And I think one of the biggest reasons why is when you, when you are exercising patience and you do something that you believe in and you're growing and you're developing and you, okay, this is where I want to go, but it's not quite happening. And so you tell yourself, have patience, have patience. You know what else is happening? Doubt. Mm, doubt kind of creeps up next to you and goes, hmm, you know why, right? You know why this isn't taking off. You know why it isn't blowing up. You know, right? You know, you're not good enough. You're not this. And doubt, doubt is just a motherfucker. And patience 
is kind of two layers to me where you have to have patience to let things play out, but then you also have, you have to have the patience in the trust in yourself that it will play out. So you have to do two things with patience. You have to allow it and you have to believe it. And that is very, very challenging, very challenging. And I think that's honestly uh, probably why in our culture, it seems like it isn't really celebrated. You know, we, what do we celebrate? The people that blow up, right? Big fame, big hype, big, 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 big. Oh, wow. And I think it's just because a lot of us don't want to fucking deal with that. But then what's really neat is when you do see people blow up, a lot of the times they come back and say, no, I've been doing this for like 10 years, but nobody knew. <laughs> nobody noticed. I didn't just blow up overnight. You know, some people blow up overnight, but most people don't. Most people have been doing it for a long time, but we never celebrate that part. Never really talk about that part. Well, I shouldn't say never. That's not fair. But that isn't what's focused on, it seems like, you know? Maybe they'll talk about it once or twice and, oh, yeah, oh, you, oh, you, you really worked hard. Yeah, I really worked hard. Okay, well, let's not talk about that anymore. Let's talk about how big and famous you are now because that's what we care about. <sighs> Good shit, man. Good shit. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that one. Hell yeah. <laughs>